Hello Pisces, I am here to bring forward a general reading for the sign of Pisces. Um, this may resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart, but then again a reminder that we are all different ages, we're going through all different kinds of life experiences, and um, we are not all made of the same um, degrees of energies, and so it is possible that this reading may not resonate with you. Hopefully, um, if you're listening to it, it is bringing something forward to you that's helpful. My dear friends, my beautiful friends, my beautiful Pis Pisces people, I welcome you into this space just as you are in this moment. I'm happy you're here and I look forward to bringing forward a story that um, will hopefully help you in some way. Let's go ahead and, and I didn't mean that in any kind of a way that makes me different from any other reader. I just meant that as, um, that I always try to bring forward a full reading for you in these readings, in, in these YouTube readings. Okay. Current energy for the Pisces people. Current energy for the Pisces people, please. Current, current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces tribe. These energies are all coming in a little bit sideways, so it tells me that you're bringing these energies in. You're bringing them to some kind, and there's a higher font coming strongly and straight up. So you're in the process of doing this and you're you're almost at a completion of it or you've almost made this happen or you're just stepping into whatever this is. All right, let's look at what's coming in for you in the next immediate future. We're looking at the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, the next month, whatever it is for you. It would be arrogant, I feel, of me to put a time stamp on this, to put a time frame on this because I am just the messenger. And when you're working with spirit, um, there is spirit works in very beautiful ways for each and every one of us. So each and every one of these viewers who are resonating with this story will feel this in a different way. So it, I, I really do not like to put a time frame on, but I am asking for the, and I'm moving my, oh, my wheel on my chair is right against my tripod. That's not good. Um, I am asking for the next immediate energy, the next immediate energy that you'll be stepping into. I'm gonna move my wheel of my chair so that I don't continue to do that. It's they look, let me just do it right now and get it out of the way. Let me make the change right now. Okay, I think that it's better now. Okay, what is Pisces going to be stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Pisces stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Pisces stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Pisces stepping into in the next immediate future? Ooh, boy, that was... What is Pisces stepping into the next immediate future? What is Pisces stepping into the next immediate future? There's all kinds of things coming in here. What is Pisces stepping into? Look at the star energies here. It is the month of Aquarius. Guidance for Pisces, please. My nose. Woo! Energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Energy change. Energy change. So there's an energy change in there. Guidance for Pisces, please. Guidance for Pisces. Guidance for Pisces, please. Is that it? Okay, so while there's some things that you're working to manifest here, something that you're working to bring forward, I feel like the energy is fairly clean. some sort of clarity. That's what I think. 
on whatever you're trying to do. I feel like you found some clarity, like the Ace of Swords already happened to you. Oh, well, okay. Now I get it. There's a death energy. So, <laughs> all right. I'm beginning the reading. We're starting off the reading with the death energy. Some sort of major trans transformation has happened here. I, I started to say the word transition, and it's probably the word transition because it came out before my my brain changed it. So there's been some sort of a transition that you've worked yourself through. Um, death energy is here, which talks about the, the ending of something and the beginning of something else. And in this process, you have learned something so vital for your future, something so vital for your progress and for abundance and love and adventure and whatever is in your dreams of dreams, right? in this transformation energy, death energy. So something had to come to an end here. Something had to come to an end. Something did. And you're working on bringing something else in, something that's different, something that's altered, something that's new. You have the three of cups here. This is the energy of joy and celebration, experiencing love and laughter and friendship and the adventures in life and celebration of new things with other people. So I think that you're in some process here of just enjoying life and celebrating whatever you've done. Many of you are celebrating this transition, whether you're doing it with a, in a group of people or whether you're celebrating with yourself, by yourself, in, in inside of your heart center, you're, you're in some sort of celebration energy. This, this could be making new friends or moving into a new place or um, finding yourself a new kind of tribe that fits with you, right? Whatever it is, it's a feeling of joy and celebration. And Pisces, like even when I look at my own life, I have found the most um, significant and empowering celebrations that happened just quietly within my own heart, right? So it doesn't have to be um, with a whole bunch of group of people in a huge party. It can be a party inside yourself. And sometimes those parties are the most beautiful parties and it's nothing that we can even tell anyone else. It's, it's, it's something beautiful, a gift just for us. But this is a party, this is a celebration, this is joy and happiness because of what you've accomplished here. Now we have the magician next to the Hierophant. So there's something you are really beginning to work at. You're beginning to manifest this in your life. Whatever it is um, that's here, um, it has to do with something that fits in with the structure of society. So whatever you're trying to manifest, it fits in with the structure of society and it is involved in something that helps to control the flow of people, control the flow of ideas, and help make us more efficient as, as a people, as a human beings on the face of this planet. Okay, the higher font is an energy that could be Taurus energy. We have Scorpio energy here as well. Um, this is also an energy of trust, an energy of contracts and agreements and engagements and um, formal traditions around society, around the structure of a family. Um, so this somehow, whatever you're trying to, to manifest, um, you're working to fit this into the structure of humanity. If this is within a company, within a church group, within a community, it's something that finds itself to be comfortable within that place. So you could be working on a, on creating a contract with with a, with a company or with the people that you work with, or you could be bringing on a new client and you're, you're um, putting together a proposal for that client. But whatever it is, it fits within a structure, right? So let's say you're talking about um, city planning because the higher fund energy could be city planning. And whenever, wherever you are in the world, um, there is usually some sort of a group of people that work to plan for the city. They plan for new roads and fixing potholes, and they plan for how they're going to incorporate new businesses and the needs of new businesses. Maybe put in an extra stop sign or build a new road because there's a new housing development coming up. You know, whatever you're working to manifest, there will be some kind of consideration by the higher font whatever you're working to manifest. So there could be, um, they, you could be opening up a new store and the, in the higher font energy will need to incorporate that store, the flow of traffic, traffic, perhaps they need to put a new street sign up or whatever. I, I know that's, that's a little bit of a silly analogy, but that's what's coming forward. So 
there, there is whatever you're working to manifest will fit within and will need to work with the greater community at large. Okay. And the Hierophant can often be a large company, a large corporation. It can be a church group. It can be a community. I um, mean, the, the opposite of the Hierophant or the, uh, the counterpart energy to the, to the Hierophant is the high priestess. This is the energy of structure and faith and wisdom within a person, right? So this is structure, faith, trust, and wisdom within a community, within a group of people. So that's, that's the energy here. And you're working to manifest something here. You could be working to manifest a relationship or an, an, it's some sort of um, a, a relationship that, that is going to be structured and going to be long lasting and it will create efficiency and, um, and the ability to um, move forward into stability and abundance using that efficiency of that relationship. Okay, so whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it is fitting within the community, within society, or within the company in some way. Let's dig a little bit deeper into the magician. It's a little bit vague for me. Again, this is a general reading, so it's going to work for a lot of people here. So there is a there is a there is a nuance to the generality. Let's go dip just a little bit deeper into the magician here. Let's see what they're going to give us. energy that's not really buzzing so i'm going to shuffle a little bit more i'm going to try a little bit more but four of swords it's not really buzzing so it's going to be different for everyone they'll give us four 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 of swords four of wands <laughs> i'm forcing it Ooh, and there's stress here. It's like there's there, this is all they're going to tell us. Six of Swords. Okay, I need to learn to stop pushing. We have the Four of Swords with the Four of Wands. So um, some of you are coming in out of the battle, learning how to work differently, learning how to structure your life differently, learning how to fight differently, learning how to heal and revive yourself, learning how to connect with the divine, learning how to connect with the divine learning how to work with your spiritual teams, learning how to co-create, learning how to be more general in what you're planning to co-create, and then allow the spiritual team, whatever religion, whatever belief system you plug into, to help you bring forward the ideas, the options, and the alternatives that you may never think about as a human, right? So learning to work with your spiritual team, learning to connect in, and then you have the Four of Wands, a new commitment, a new shelter, a new structure, a new foundation, 1111. And what's cool about this, you guys, this is an 1111 energy. And look at this, 1111 here, these four swords. So you're looking to create and to bring in something that is, it doesn't have to be any kind of very deep entwined love affair. The 1111 energy is an energy that is, is, it's an expansive energy. It doesn't just mean um, a divinely guided, very special, um, very rare love affair. It can be something that is your life path. It can be something that's destined from above, right? So, so this is something that's very, you, you're wanting to create something that's very special. That's very divinely, it's, this is a serious, this is a serious energy. This is serious. Like I, I think because of this transformation, Pisces, that you have learned so much in this transformation that whatever you're trying to manifest is something very much exactly and individually custom built and destined just for you, just for you here. Okay. What's coming in in the future? Two, four. So, you know, power of four. <laughs> okay. What's coming in in the future here? Now you have movement. All right. So we have king of swords in the reverse. Five of pentacles here coming in like this. 
Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. The Star Energy. Temperance Energy. And the Lovers. Okay. So as you move into the future, you're going to be going through some some energies here. Um, you can see which energies are in flux. The, these energies, this King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. This is all about moving forward, moving forward into healing and empowerment. I'll, I'll go into these energies here, but first we have the, the, the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, this is what the King of Swords looks like. I'm going to hide him again. This is what he looks like. Come on now. Look at that face. Look at his sword. Look at the fire. He has a book in his hand too. Look how he's collared up. He means business, doesn't he? Right? This is the, the, the month of Aquarius, and here is Aquarius and Aquarius here. Star energy. So you could have been in this devastation, this financial devastation or loneliness or um, let, being left out in the cold, feeling disconnected from people or from the family or from your lover. Whatever it is, it looks like the Five of Pentacles is starting to move away from your experience. You are beginning to find the truth, to find clarity. You're beginning to make decisions that bring you into a new freedom path. Because this is freedom path right here. This is your freedom path. It's not moving. It's there for you. Whenever you're ready for it, whenever you get to that place, your freedom path is here. And you're working your way up to the freedom path. You're climbing up into the path. Before you can get to the path, you have to actually go on some sort of a journey before you get there. But what you're doing is you're ending a period of time that has been harsh. It has been heavy. It has been a lot of work, a lot of struggle, um, and it hasn't really gotten you. You've worked really hard. You struggled a lot and you feel like you aren't much farther than you were when you started. That kind of an energy is a frustrating, ever, 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 everlasting kind of pain. Now, a lot of times with the Ten of Swords, it's not just people who have given us tasks and obligations. We somehow have agreed to carry these wands. Somehow we've agreed to do this. Whether it was in our desire to, to please other people or to help other people or to be there for other people, we have in effect with the Ten of Wands put ourselves in a position of depletion. So you're going through these uneasy energies, starting with the five energy, moving to the seven. Beautiful transition. I love it. By using the King of Swords energy. And the King of Swords energy, well, it's my energy. Ha! Poor you guys. <laughs> it is an energy of logic, coolness. Not that I'm cool, because I'm not. Okay? I'm certainly not cool. But when I'm in my power with the King of Swords, I can be extremely rational and logical. And I can make very difficult decisions. And I can see all sides of this picture. And I've learned how to make decisions in that way for myself. And that's something that this group of Pisces people is learning how to do. Because very soon, once you get all the pieces of the puzzle figured out, this King of Swords is going to rotate. And there's going to be some kind of decision you make in the future. Look, as this King of Swords rotates, this Five of Pentacles goes in the reverse. And that happened without me doing a thing. Look at this. Oh, it stopped doing it. Dang it. I was going to, see, that is how uncool I am. <laughs> That's how uncool. And you know what? That's a good lesson because the five of pentacles doesn't go in the reverse without taking action. You have to actually move the five of pentacles. You have to do it yourself. It doesn't happen naturally. From my own transitions that I've made and the transformations I made in my life, it's something intentional that you have to do. It's an intentional focus. It's intentional action to step into something new, 
and to step out of devastation. It takes a lot of strength to move out of the Five of Pentacles. And because you have the King of Swords fragment very alive and well within you, and you're able to be very logical and rational about what the situation is and why you're in the Five of Pentacles, you're able to then make some decisions that help you take away some of these items, some of these duties, some of these items, some of these tasks, some of these obligations that you've taken on, whatever this is that creates unfairness in your life, you're able to take these watermelons out of your basket and say, this is really silly. I know our field is downhill. I know that our home is at the top of the hill, but I know that this field is huge and there are thousands of watermelons in our field. So you might say, instead of carrying all these watermelons up the hill, I'm going to bring down into the field the transportation container. And we're going to put all these watermelons in the container, and then we're going to take them to the market or whatever. I'm just BSing at this point. But it's, it's really figuring out how to lighten your load here. Because what these people are doing, and I've done this kind of work, I've worked on a farm for many, many years. All of, all of my younger years, hard on the farm, worked hard on the farm. And I have experienced this. And many of you too, many of you have too around the world, this kind of work. And it's just very self-deflating. It's like, how am I going to, and you do, you eventually get to the end, but then you think, well, why did I do that? Why did I say, now I'm, I'm going, I'm leaving this field, the watermelon situation I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. I'm moving on. But you say, why did I say yes to that? Why did I say yes to doing that? Look at the person that's supposed to be doing it. That person was over there having a cup of coffee and chatting with her friend. And here I am doing all this work for her. Why did I say I was going to do that? I'm not going to do it anymore. And you're going to find yourself going into this self-representation energy, self-representation, self-promotion, self-defense. And you're going to start to defend your freedom, to defend your own personal way of life. Because there's something here that is everlasting tired for you. And it could have been a long period of time. So this King of Swords is going to be tough. It's going to see the truth. And it's going to begin to make decisions and to, um, to be the judge of whatever has created this Ten of Wands for you. What is this Ten of Wands? What have you, what kind of situation are you in? Are you in a marriage that you're holding everything together? Are you going to work, earning the money, coming home, taking care of the family? And are you feeling like you don't have a partner to help you in this? Are you going to work and all you're working 15 or 20 extra hours every week, taking on all kinds of tasks that weren't really yours to begin with because you felt like you could maybe do it better? But in the end, you're tired, you're exhausted, and you don't really know how to get to the end of it. Are you ready for a change in your life? Are you ready to step out in a new way? Because the Ten of Wands energy is a very exhausted, tired, the last straw kind of energy. It, it's, some, it's the kind of energy where there's just one last thing that's going to happen, and your temper is going to erupt and changes are going to be made. That's the tower. But I think you're going to avoid that because you're going to see with the King of Swords what's happening here. Why are you working so hard and still in the Five of Pentacles? There's something that's not fair. There's something that's not balanced in this situation. And because you're really putting the King of Swords fragment within you to work and, and seeing the truth of it, you're able to walk yourself through this. And the King of Swords is your friend. I am your friend. <laughs> the King of Swords is your friend. King of Swords is on your side. And whatever he finds in the truth of this is going to help you. So being candid with yourself is the key here. Being truthful and honest with yourself is the key to finding freedom. And that fragment within you, that's the King of Swords. He's the truth finder. So you have a truth finder here, this King of Swords. And he's a decision maker and he makes very solid decisions. Like he's not talking either. 
He's not talking. His sword is up and the fire's going. So he's feeling passionate. Although when you look at the King of Swords, you might not know, but he's passionate inside. Something has got him going. I think for you, something happens in the next upcoming period of time where you are pushed now to be, bring the King of Swords forward. And you might not be saying a whole lot. King of Swords doesn't do a whole lot of talking. But you're bringing in this self-representation -rep here, self-advocacy. You're coming in strong. You're protecting yourself. You're putting up sandbags because there's been some kind of a flood. So you're protecting yourself. There could be somebody here that's, there's somebody here, there's something here that's pushed you over the edge here. Somebody has pushed you over the edge and you're ready now to make changes. Seven of Wands. There is some booming fire here in the Seven of Wands. Conflict. There's something that happens here that you put an end to. You put an end to it. Here are the five energies. And these readings today that I've done, who has it been? Aries? See, I do the readings and I forget. Aries, Gemini, and now Pisces. These three readings today have all been about the five energies. These five energies are uncomfortable. I hate the five energies. In my own life, I hate the five energies. <laughs> but we have to step into them because it's part of transformation. It, it forces us to move forward in a different way. It forces us to change. And change can be hard. But what I see here is you stepping forward and saying, no. No. How about this way? You come up with some kind of alternative or you say, no. That is not fair. That is not part of the agreement. That has not been part of the design of this. That is not what my role is. No. You say no. You start to advocate for yourself. And what happens, and, and for some of you, this could be a smaller situation, right? This could be just a month-long situation. doesn't have to be a huge life change that comes in here. It can be for some. Because I'll let that, the message, once I tell it, you receive it how it fits with you. But for some, this could just be a situation at work or a situation at home where you are, somebody puts you, somebody puts you into the fighting position here and you end this conflict by sticking up for yourself. And what I see here is a star energy over the top of the King of Swords. There is some new um, version of yourself that sets forward. Whatever this was, it allows you to be free. It allows you to free up something, to voice something, to get something out in the open. Some kind of truth of who you are, some kind of destiny, some sort of wish that you're connecting in with that allows it to come forward. So in a, in a way, this was a situation, this Ten of Wands, which allowed you to burst something open and to step forward in a new way. Okay, there's temperance energy here off the top of the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So it tells me that you're able to do this in a way, <clears throat> you're able to create this change in a way that is compassionate and patient and understanding. Okay, so there's a need here for you to be compassionate, patient, and understanding for yourself and compassionate and patient and understanding for ending this cycle. So it might take a little bit of time for this to all work out, but there is a knowledge here by this group of Pisces that whatever this is, it could be a little complicated and to give it a little time to work itself out. But this Seven of Wands will end this conflict. This self-promotion, self-advocacy, self-defense will end this conflict. It will turn it on its head. Whatever this Ten of Wands is, you're no longer going to sit in that energy. And look how the energy changes then. See how dark and intense these energies are? And look how the energies change. Much different. Sagittarius energy, Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Gemini again, lover's energy. There is something here, I think. There's a partnership here that is being worked on. Something is being worked on. Something is being corrected. Somebody has to stand up to another person or a community or a, a group of people and be in their truth here, whatever this truth is. 
So there is some truth. This is, this is a truth seeker. So once you find the truth, you have to express it. You have to let it out. You have to shine in it. So in this energy here, there is some truth coming out about how something is working with some kind of a partnership here. Because here's the thing. We can have the lover's energy within us. That's the yin and yang and how it works together. We all have the yin and yang energy within us. The masculine energy with us, it helps us move forward and create. And the and the um, feminine energy within us that brings um, revitalization, reflection. It's non-movement versus movement. And we need to have non-movement if we're going to have movement. Right? They, they just intertwine together. But when you have a partnership where one or the other, so you're in a partnership with a yin-yang, right? What, whoever you are, the yang or the yin, whatever. And one of you, let's say the feminine, this one is inactive. Something is going on here that is imbalanced. And one of you then becomes, has to carry both energies. And the other one is just imbalanced then. When, when you have a partnership and you're carrying both energies and taking action in both, and trying to do both because the other isn't balanced with yours, there's a big imbalance. And that's what creates this Ten of Wands. So there's some sort of imbalance in your outer, in your outer energy, in your outer world. And this has created in, an imbalance internally. But there's a partnership that's out of balance here that needs to be clicked back into place. It needs to be clicked back into place. Lover's energy. Lover's energy. Lover's energy, please. Hanged man. Perspective. New understanding. Four of Pentacles. Moon. There's some story here. I think what this lover's energy is. Okay. There's a bigger story here. And what this is, is see, we have the hanged man coming out with the four of pentacles, these energies here. All right, so we have the hanged man with the four of pentacles. See this four of pentacles? So when we try to hang on to something, when we try to hang on to control or to success, or to a person, or to a way of life, or to money, it creates stagnation. It creates um, it creates an, an over an overaction. It creates an overaction. It creates an imbalance in the energies. And I think what this is 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 you really with this King of Swords and this truth, understanding, finding a new perspective here on why you're connected with this Ten of Wands. Because there's temperance here. There's patience and understanding and compassion. So you're taking this patience, understanding, and compassion and applying it to yourself. Because this King of Swords energy, uh, it's, it's the brutal truth. And I think there's some kind of truth here that in your efforts to help or to hold on or to support or to be successful, you have taken on more obligations you're you have taken on more than you should your your desire to hold on to something has put you in this ten of wands depletion four of pentacles that's the holding on and keeping it close and not letting go and not letting something happen that probably needs to happen and this work let's say that this isn't about a lover let's say this is about work because for some of you, this is about work. Let's say you work with a coworker and you really like this coworker a lot. This coworker is a really nice person. 
um, has been through a lot. Um, and, and there's something that this coworker isn't doing very well. They're not doing it very well. They're, whether it was, maybe there's something going on in their life or they're just not competent in that area or they're not trained right or maybe they just don't care. Maybe they're apathetic. Maybe they don't care about whatever it is, but you like this person and you get along well with this person. And so you started to fill in for this person and do little things here and there for them. Right. And, and in this process of doing that, you are staying and working longer and longer hours. You're taking on more and more duties and you're exhausted. You're tired, but you're not getting paid anymore. Are you? You might even be going to work more days than you need to. Or there could even be some expenses that you're accruing because of this. And in order to really understand why you're in this Ten of Wands, this truth seeker is stepping out from you from within you and helping you find a new perspective on why you're in the four of pentacles. Why are you hanging on? And is it in your own best interest to do so? And this king of swords will bring you the freedom and will help you to end this cycle. And you will begin to step forward now in a way that is in defense of yourself, in promotion or in advocacy of yourself. And this conflict that you've been in will come to an end because of this hangman and this king of swords. All right, there's something here that needs to come forward with the moon. Something needs to come forward into the into common knowledge or into the light in some way. And then you have the page of swords with the nine of pentacles. This is learning. This is learning how to attain some kind of true independence. This is learning how to build that inner strength. This is learning how to attain, well, this is the freedom path, Nine of Pentacles. This is how to attain um, your own success individually and learn that you don't always need to have a team, that in some point and in some way, we're forced in our lives to step forward as individuals, to step forward as individuals and claim what is ours. And to, and to start to build in, in your own worlds and on our own worlds, um, our, our own successes. That we don't always have to worry about the success of others. That without our own success, the Five of Pentacles, how long will you be able to carry this Ten of Wands? Right? The Five of Pentacles is not sufficient to be long last. It's not, you can't do it. it you, it's too hard to, to walk in this way. It's too hard to be in the Five of Pentacles for very long. Five, the five of pentacles, the five energies are only meant to, for a short time. And then you move into the sixes. So somehow you're learning how to hear, you're learning, you're going through this lesson. You're going through this experience to learn with the page of swords. This is a scholar to learn how to reach your own independence, how to enjoy money, how to make it, how to bring it in for yourselves, because no one else is going to pay your bills. No one else is going to buy food. No one else, this person well, unless it's a spouse, right? If it's a spouse, it's a little bit different, but I'm still in the work analogy, okay? Be patient. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at myself. This person who you're helping in this story is not going to say, oh, can I pay your electrical bill for you? You've been doing all this work for me. Let me pay your electrical bill. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that person's going to do that. So you're learning how to find this for yourself. And it's part of the lesson in the, in the nine of pentacles. This is about truth, destiny, empowerment. And this is what the next period of time is going to be. What? I even forgot what you're stepping into here. Manifesting. So you have some new energy. You have some new emotional strength here because you've went through some kind of a transformation. Something has ended within you. You've had enough. You've had enough of the death energy. You've had some type of, type of internal epiphany or internal ending and new beginning. And you're working to manifest something new for yourself. And you're in this new love celebration energy. within this company or community. Okay, let's see what the guidance is.
sun. Aha. Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. Ace of Wands. Here's this energy. <gasps> Ace of Pentacles coming in. I am blown away. I'm blown away. I never imagined it. Whatever you're doing here is so needed. It's so needed. You have to move into the star energy. You can't continue to be in this energy. This is too hard and it's keeping you from shining as you truly are. Move into the star, make these actions because what's here for you is something so profound. It's something so valuable. You have the sun energy. This is guidance of healing, of future abundance, of wealth, of good health, of empowerment and passion and enjoying life, a new day, a new dawn. Wow, the sun. Seven of Pentacles energy is here. The Seven of Pentacles energy is coming, has been coming out for me all day. It's an energy of having something. So you have something, whether it's your skills, your capacity, your education, the business that you own, the niche specialty that you have, who you are as a person. There's something that you have here that is established already. Don't forget what you have. Don't forget what you have that's yours that nobody else can have. It's yours. There's something, there's something here that you have created for yourself already. And now it takes time here to further grow this and and make this into something that's going to be very valuable, um, abundant. I, I want to talk about this apple and I've talked, the seven of pentacles has come out for the three sets of readings I've done today. <clears throat> and uh, when you're a reader, especially when you get, like I'm working with people that are transitioning, when you get this energy, it feels like I've said it now so much, but I'm going to say it again, because there's some of you that haven't watched the Aries reading or the Gemini reading, right? And those are the two when I talked about this story. But when you look at the farmer, and I've been saying this story all week, so you probably, if you heard me talk about this, just fast forward. <laughs> but uh, you don't have to listen to me, whatever. Why am I? Okay. Well, because of this energy, we have the Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles. So it's blowing me away. But first I need to ground myself and get into this energy. And the sun. If this is just incredible, Pisces, what the hell? The seven of pentacles energy. <laughs> this is this farmer looks like she's pregnant. Her hand is on her belly as well. Looks like she's pregnant. She has a crop that she's growing these apples. And in my story, the apples are red. And we know that there's green apples that are ripe, but these apples are red. They're going to be red. So they're still ripening. They're ripening on the tree. And so this woman is going out to check on her crop. She's looking at her crop. And she's thinking, okay, what still do I need to do? I'm so excited I have this crop and it's looking very healthy. And I'm starting to really think that it's going to come into fruition and I'm going to have a very robust yield this year. I'm going to make a high return on my, on my investments. But she realizes that there's still some time that these apples have to be on the tree. And there's still a lot of things that can happen that can change what's going on so can, that could change the outcome, such as weather. The weather can, can really affect the crops, farmers' crops, the land. The weather can affect the land. And so she knows that there could be some sort of weather that could come in that could affect these apples. There could also be pests, bugs, different harmful um, insects that could come and invade her crop. Right. So she she knows that she's not at a safe point yet, although she does have these apples that are looking really well, that are looking really robust. And she knows that harvest is, is imminent. She knows that harvest is coming up. But not only does she have to look at this fruit and protect the fruit, she has to step forward in an active way and start planning for the harvest. 
who is going to come pick the apples? She probably isn't. Well, she could be. She could be out in the fields, but she probably is going to hire some people or to involve her family, and they're all going to go out and pick the apples. So she has to plan for that. Does she have enough ladders? Does she have the right equipment? Does she have enough storage containers to haul the apples in? And where is she going to take the apples? Is she going to take them and sell them wholesale? Does she have a wholesale buyer? Is she going to take it to the market? What market is she going to take them to and how is she going to get them there? And what is she going to charge for them? And she's probably thinking, okay, and I have this debt that I need to pay off when I make, when I sell the apples. I wonder how much is going to be my gross profit and what's going to be my net profit, right? So she's doing all this planning. So the seven of pentacles energy is not only being in a defensive energy, but also taking action to make sure that this investment moves forward in an abundant way, in a successful way. So there's something here that you have, whether it's your training, your education, your skills and capacities, whether it's the passion, whether it's some certain special ability that you have that's special just for you, whatever it is, there's something here that you have already built within yourself. And it's, there's a need now to take action, to take a new action. There's new passion, new action coming in and a new life. A new life is ahead. A new reality is ahead. Now, what this is telling us that, that you need to take action first. You need to put some work in and take some action. But if you do these things and you plan right and you're careful, you can bring this new reality in. Ace of Pentacles. It's just incredible. Whatever this is, if this is a relationship, if it's a new job, if it's a new business, if it's purchasing a home, Whatever it is, it's something that's going to bring you in a new reality, a new improved financial picture, a new improved experience. It usually has to do with improved money, but it doesn't always. It can be a new improved reality. It can be a relationship. Both of these energies can be a relationship, but they don't have to be. You know I can't stop. What? You know I can't stop. I'm just going to pull a couple of cards here. Now I'll decide what energies I'm going to look at in the extended. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords with the Three of Wands. So something here is coming forward as a truth for you. There's a major decision you're making, and you feel pretty optimistic about it. And I think you're beginning to start to see it kind of come in into, into the horizons here with the Three of Wands. Shooting star, truth, yes. Decision to go. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Cups flipped over, but didn't come out. New inspiration, new warm heartedness. Ace of Pentacles. What is this energy? <gasps> Ace of Cups. Look how it landed, too. Like this. It's almost like, <gasps> what in the world, Pisces? This is like magical. Look, oh my gosh. Ace of Cups. One, 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 one. Four aces. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Optimism, anticipation, enthusiasm, wishing upon a star, letting yourself go into it, letting yourself step into it. Look, this girl, she's laying out in night in the nighttime. It's warm where she is because she doesn't have any jacket on and she doesn't have shoes on or anything like that. But she's not scared of the dark. Is she? She's not scared of the dark. She's not looking behind her back. She's not wondering what's back there in the trees. She's not thinking somebody is going to steal her wands that are here in the ground. She's looking at the moon and she's wishing upon a star. She's totally surrendering and moving into it. 
And look what's here, the sun and the moon. I just, what the heck? New love, truth, destiny, passion, chemistry, new action, new activity, new experience, new adventure, new reality. <gasps> what? Okay. That's that's the reading. Now let me look at what I'm going <laughs> My whole head is cold. My back is cold. My arms are cold. There's something that's going to be happening with this group. Remember, we have the seven of pentacles. There's some work to be done. But look what you have here. The sun, the three of wands, a ship coming in, to the, coming in out in the ocean. You're starting to see them over the horizon. You have some work. You have some investment to do. You have some training, perhaps, whatever the Seven of Pentacles is. But there is something beautiful and open and promising and loving and improved for you here. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Aces in the Extended. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um... I'm going to go into the star energy. I don't think that I'm going to go into this conflict. I think you know what the conflict is. I might go into the King of Swords to see if he can give any more. I might have to go into what the King of Swords says for his, his truth that he brings forward. That may help you in this process. But the rest of these energies I'm putting, here's a lover's energy, but I mean, not, I mean, this is too, I'm going to, this is about balance. This is about refiguring this, redoing this, correcting this. I'm not going to go into the energy this time. Let's see if there's anything here I'm going to go into. Nope. I don't think so. I think I'm going to go into this stuff here. This stuff is crazy delicious. So this is what I'm going to go into. And if I have time, I'll go out into the month of March to see what we can find. All right. That's the extended reading. That will be in the link below. Um, but this, I hope, if you're happy with this reading, that makes me really happy. And um, I'll be back in seven to ten days with another general reading for the, for the Pisces people. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.